what a wonderful film. I had Thank quite you. a hard time in the cinema. For it, um, what was your motivation to tell this story? I, um, I, I thought it was a necessary film to make, uh, mostly because um, when I read the books on which the story is based, it made me re realize that I, in my past, had actually uh, been judging people struggling with addiction. Uh, and that, that um, I thought it was important to tell a story that um, creates empathy for people struggling with this and it gives a clear insight in how these things work, how, um, how a beautiful young person who, has, who, who supposedly has everything still can um, uh, f fall into addiction. <clears throat> and, and has a hard time uh, figuring out how to get out of it, even with enormous amount of help from his parents. Um, 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 it's also, I think, a very uh, beautiful, mythical story about a father trying to understand his uh, son and, and um, save him. Um, so, yeah, for a lot of reasons, I thought it was a, a very moving and... and uh, epic and important story to tell. Yeah, and could you understand how, how hard it must be for parents to say, "Now I could help you anymore. You have to live your own life." Uh, I, it's it's one of the hardest things uh, you can possibly imagine. Um, I just became a parent myself, um, so I didn't. When I was making this film, I wasn't a parent yet. Um, uh, yet I've been drawn to these stories uh, for a long time and I wanted to become a parent for a, a long time. So it's, uh, yeah, it's when you have a kid, you just want the best for him. Yet at some point, um, uh, David, the main character in this film, uh, needs to save the rest of his family and, and save himself. And, and maybe by doing that, eventually save his son too. And what was the most important lesson you have to learn during the researching and during the movie making about drugs? <coughs> what I viscerally understand through next book is how once you're in this cycle of using and using more, uh, how hard it is to get out of it. Uh, because um, you do realize that what you're doing is uh, hurting yourself and others, yet uh, you feel so ashamed about it that you drug yourself to uh, forget about that, all that. But that, so that movement really... Uh, pulls you down where and gets you to a point where the only way out is e using even more. It's something I never, I never understood uh, cerebral actually, and from this uh, researching this film and making this film, I understood that. Yeah, and have Nick and David already seen the movie? How the, was their reaction? They have, yeah. David and Nick have seen the movie. Um, you know, very quickly after it was finished, we wanted to share it with them, and uh, they. Um, they saw it separately. Um, uh, they took their time to let it sink in, but it was very. They were. They were very moved by it, and they're happy that um, that it's out there and supporting the movie. Um, they uh, and and this as a. I mean, they wrote their books and shared their story because they thought it could um, be helpful for other people, and that's why they're happy that this movie is there. Yeah. And the uh, movie got a wonderful cast. And um, how was it to work with Timothy and Steve? They're both amazing actors. Um, so as a as a director who loves working with actors, it's 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 been a joy. Um, it's amazing. It's been amazing to get to know them, to see how they work, and how sincerely we uh, and focused we worked on this film was was um, you know. Um, very, very um, beautiful. Yeah, and at le least, um, what do you hope to transfer for people who are involved in this 
topic? What kind of message would you like to give? Uh, by sharing the story, I hope that people who are involved feel, you know, recognized or feel that other people have a, um, uh, can have a better sense of what they are going through and f so feel more understood and, and, and so we can have conversations coming from a place of empathy.